Greetings, you people, and hello, Marquis. How is it going? How's it been? This brass donut do indeed. Welcome you to Sunday, Sunday, Sunday morning, heroes, everybody. It is time to begin with yet another session of D and D, fifth edition, and I have with us here today Quillatine and Demonac and the lovely A Kiss for Luck. All right, so um, without further ado, we have some things to do. So let's just get some FaceTime continuum. Hello, bells. I hear you too. <laughs> FaceTime and three and two and one and faces, all the faces in and around. Um, and some of us are making faces and fading away. <laughs> mm. So um, <clears throat> hello and everybody to uh, the 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 viewers there. Hope everything is okay. Everything is uh, fine for the volume. We can only hear you, Briarstone. Well, that's fine. You should be able to hear everybody else now. Is that right? We can only hear you, Briarstone. Uh-oh. Oh. Mmm, oh. uh -oh. you know what's probably up? I just realized something. Um, the... Yeah, so this is going to be a weird start of the recording, too, for YouTube. Uh, one second. We had to switch things around yesterday um, to, to get um, proper volume in places for the live stream. Um, but, 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 but to do that, we, we screwed things up. So where is uh, device not connected or available? Yes, that's, that's not what we want. We want that. And we're going to say okay to that. And we're going to hope that this is working. Right? Let's see. Yeah, seems, seems like it is. I have a little volume indicator. We're going to know yeah. for sure, for sure in just a moment. Bad technology. You're bad. Cooley team, sing so that uh, we can know when the sound comes on. Um. Um. <laughs> uh. Damn, I didn't realize we were going to do karaoke D&D. Otherwise, I would have had something prepared. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, you can always start with the one like, let it go. I mean, get that stuck in people's head and make them pay for it. Mm. All right, so. See me rolling. They hate Some you. 20s. Oh, there's that. <laughs> Not no ones. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's a rhyme in there. It has to come in. So. There you go. She's singing. There. Yeah, we, we, we have Will bells singing. Will and Bella can sing to each other. Yeah. Sing it, baby. That coon's like, yeah, sing it, baby. Bird. All right. <laughs> sing, my angel. So. Sing, of my the angel. angel. Right. Oh. Yeah, we were going for Phantom of the Opera, but... <laughs> right, I know, but I went I went straight to um, Deadpool soundtrack because... Bella it. fixed it! Look, they said Bella wham. fixed it. <laughs> we should get some wham up in here. All right, um, so currently, yep. as as Bell, Bells is letting everybody know where you guys left <laughs> off. Yes, exactly, Bells. You guys had fought an incredibly um, aggravating water elemental. Yes. With a name... Like, it's something like that, anyway. And, um, well, now he just sounds like the sound uh, Drain makes as it empties. Oh, it just oh, sounds yeah. like, um, the little whirlpool down the drain. Yeah, like the we'll just call him flush flush water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Come on, Bells, let other people talk. Mm. All right, um, so currently, in terms of uh, the flushing elemental, we have, we're done with that. There's a bunch of white noise coming back from the rivers. The river is now starting to come forth and is covering up the, um, it didn't take long, but the bones, the actual dead people that were there in the bottom of the river is, is slowly being re-buried, um, if you want to call it that, by the river's waters. Um, is there anything that you guys want to do with the bones as, you know, it's still shallow water, you can start picking some out for burial, or are you just going to leave it there, like, uh, screw it, move on? You said there was just like a sure. high, like just a ford of human yeah, bones. Yeah, there's a bunch going on there. Yeah, I'm at the very least, sure, you know, we already looted it. Yeah, I mean, you did. I don't think there's much we want to do other than looting. Okay. So. I mean, well, that's that's your prerogative, right? You know, you you could be one of those. I don't know. If, you know, one of you was like, well, I want to turn lawful, you know, good and grab the bones and start burying them or something. But you know. That's they're already they're buried at sea. We don't know what their tradition was. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't want to assume what they uh, what they would want us to do with their bones. I understand. Oh, okay. At the very least, you guys can tell the people at Bardrite if you're still heading towards Bardrite. You can tell the people there um, what you you know what you encountered, and maybe they can move people out to go and recollect and stuff like that. Let them and also, if you're drinking the water, it's probably no longer vegetarian. Ooh, here's that. Mmm, that's got a bit of a delicious flavor. 
It's like some kind of broth now. Yeah. Bone broth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. God. Uh, so. Guess what, Joe? Oh, water under the bridge, says Tony. <laughs> oh, that's something to mention. I uh, I didn't mention that, but there 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 are remnants and pieces of the bridge that was um, across this gap. There is a bridge, or was a bridge. There's a reason there was that a bridge. yeah, there's a reason that there's a road across this. Um, right. Okay. Because generally, well, it looks a like a road. ford. I mean, with the rocks there, I just thought it was a, a place to ford the river. So yeah, no, those See, are actually that... really large rocks. So <clears throat> oh, okay. So well, are to get to the end? Are we still following down the river though? Right. Yep. Yep, you can still go south, and you can find your way to the, the barge, right? But, um... Yeah, there's there's no particular reason, as, as Tao would know, there's no particular reason to arrive on the, the west side or the east bank, I should say, the west bank or the east bank. You, you're going to make your way there, and when you're there, there's there's going to be several um, ways to get back and forth across the river. In fact, they use that a lot to uh, stop goods and pick goods up with, like, winches and such, so it's fine. Okay. 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 So you guys didn't lose any of the people that were there and around. Those sort of like cheerleaders, right? They were there giving you bonuses to attack and, and damage, but um, <laughs> nobody dies because of that. Um, their engagement. Good. So you guys. Uh, where's Orna? Orna is a little bit shaken, right? Oh no, she yeah. was healed. I had to pull her out of there. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I healed her with our last band aid. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I have all my spells, but I have no more kits. It was a pressure bandage. Now it's just pressure. Yeah. Yes. It's a <laughs> um, right. So I, I, I would say she's able. She's, she's got enough hit points, it seems, to be able to, to, to move under her own um, her weight around herself. So, yeah. So you guys can now just move, uh, move south if you want. Down the river. It is to be mentioned that, uh, given geographically where you are, if you wanted to go, say, to Red Larch, you would have to cross the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're okay. heading... we'll go to the barge right in. Okay. We're heading yep. for barge right anyway, so... Okay. Yeah, I mean, and from the barge right in, there's a road to Red Larch, and it's closer, and we can rest, plus, yeah, some commitments. Well, there was the road, the Disarn Road, we could have gone... You know, slightly east and got on the road and went straight down instead of following the river too. That was another. But I guess we decided to follow the river for whatever reason. River, I think. What was that? What was that? I think we're already pretty far down the river. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're a ways. Um, and for, <laughs> it, also given the time of day, um, you guys could. We were decide, camping. Yeah, you guys. Could we, hadn't we decided to camp? To camp? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So if you do end up camping, um, that that is fine. It's. Roughly another, as as Tao would know, um, most distinctly. I just, you know what, Lasan, you would know too. You you travel these areas a lot. Um, you you're basically a, a few hours out from from getting there. You you should at this particular place in the in the river. You should be there if you if you left early the next day. You should be there okay. in around mid afternoon. So before they shut the gates, because that's what happens at Barge Right. Barge Right in the evening they shut the main gates. Um, and nobody comes in or out, um, uh, unless of course you want to, you know, parlay with the guards, which never really works out. So. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I think I thought last time, just just as we left, we had decided we would just like back up from the river a little bit, and just camp for the night. I thought mm -hmm. that's how we ended. We were talking about it anyway. That seems wise. Okay. Seems I mean, but that we... was just a huge fight. We just took a bunch yeah. of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You know, we got to treat some wounds and. I gotta meditate and get back my side points. Yeah. So we'll just spend the night and head out in the morning. Okay. Or if we did spend the night and it's morning. However you whatever you're doing with it. So Um so Orna gets back what was her hit die? I didn't actually write her down as a as an actual NPC, NPC proper right now. She's just I'm pretty sure she starts in an around level like five. So I'm just gonna give her I think I gave her so 13 points back last last time it was a chunk 13 i think she got 13 points back right, from well, the kit 13 yeah yeah she's okay yeah. for that now she's got 13 total but then she's going to add another six to that for resting okay. um well 13 plus six is actually 19. okay so she's got 19 hit points okay. at the moment and uh gira i'm gonna do him real fast 
You guys can do it yourselves. Oh, you already did pretty good. Uh, much better. So he's going to be doing plus three. So that'll be. Oh, 48 plus 12 is. No. There it is. He's not quite full health. Um, did you hit a hotkey and change the scene? Uh, apparently yeah. I did. There it is. It's back. Thank you, guys. I have to avoid using my numpad. Um, one second. <laughs> I thought I did everything right, and I did everything wrong. <laughs> uh, let's get that out of the way. Out of the way. It's my day after my birthday. Listen, I was a little incoherent yesterday. It's fine. There it is. Fell asleep really early. <laughs> I did. All right. <clears throat> now, if I touch these keys, they shouldn't be. Yes. Okay. Now, it does not, no longer change the scene. There's no hot keys. I just got rid of them instead of trying to figure out where to put them. Okay, so you guys are, uh, yeah, so you guys are ready to probably move out the next day. It is early in the morning, unless, of course, you want to decide to leave later. It is early in the morning. You early just, in the morning is fine. Just get yeah. out and go. Okay, yeah. kicking the dirt on the fire. All right, so um, without trying to uh, talk too much about the in-between bits from here to there, the scenery is all something that you really, really are familiar with. The river does oh, widen yeah. up a bit, um, and it is quite fantastic looking. I mean, this is... Sort of the area um, of the world in between um, Red Larch and um, Waterdeep. Not, is it Waterdeep? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. that becomes very, like almost people just pilgrim pil they have pilgrimages here, not for religious reasons, just because people like to see it. So it's that beautiful. But anyway, uh -huh. um, you're like moving Ayrshire. on. Down. Oh. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you're moving on down, and it's about um. Because there's nothing that happens in between here and, and, and you're getting to barge right um, at this particular point. So you get to barge right in uh, a little bit later than you wanted, but it's still early afternoon. Um, the gates are still open. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and change your Looking for over. herbs as we go. Okay, good. <clears throat> Put you guys over there. Oh, nice. Look at that. 16. Wait, that was awesome. That's actually um, really good. Oh. oh, 31, 37. Barge right in has yet. got a lot of stuff going on in it. Yeah, well, Barge right in, the actual inn, is, oh, uh, it's number, a town. is number five, right? It's it's the larger estate. The big in place the in the back. Oh, this is mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. So the well, yeah, what's all this other stuff? Um, I, I'm trying to figure out what just happened. We have uh, Risen Dragonborn, who, who just gave us a, 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 a tip, and there it is. His name's point. too big. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Thank I, you. <laughs> I want to I want to write your name in the um in the in the character sheet on on screen, but it it doesn't really fit. So there it is. It's it's running off, you know, as it happens to do. All right, thank you very much for that generosity. All right, so you guys are here. Um, I'm going to say that you guys are probably not bringing in Gira, or do you want to bring in Gira? I mean, that's the thing. Totally up to you. It's. I'm just not sure if anybody else oh. in around the town is going to quite take This is time true. Well, well, I mean, we do with only, him? he's only a half uh, ogre or whatever. Yeah. Well, ask him, like, hey, have you, have you ever been here before? Did, we, did you come back here, here with your uh, your friend before we met you? Or do you guys avoid place like this? Uh, we, we don't come close to y y you because you... No, come close to us. Aww. But he's and our friend. Kind of, people are kind of dicks sometimes. Okay. Super dick. Maybe, I mean, maybe you, uh, are you okay staying out here, maybe? Cause less trouble? Oh, uh, no. No. We can't. He's been our friend. We can't just... This guy's, like, saved our lives and stuff. He'll be fine. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, like, I'm, I'm pro fine. him. But, I'm, you know, if, if he we'll be used fine. to not coming to places like this, then I don't know. Yeah, he'll, we, we have to teach him. Yeah. We either going to, I mean, if we're going to bring him back to Red Lodge or if we're going to keep him or we just want <clears> tell him <throat> to go his merry, I don't know. We'll, have to, we'll just have to teach to him his table him manners, that's all. <laughs> what, what does he think? Um, I, in the quick conversation, uh, he, you kind of get the idea <laughs> that he would rather, you know, camp outside the area. Um, away <clears throat> and pretty much far away. In fact, if you if you wanted to find him, uh, he would probably like to because this would have been a conversation along the way because he he would know where yes. you guys are going. Um, yep. he, he would probably like to stay even a day's um, 
day's length. Yeah. Like, really. He doesn't want to be that close. So he would have stayed at the camp we had overnight. Like eight hours away. Yeah, something like that. Probably would be his. I mean, day. are we just parting ways with him now then? Um, you could with with some sort of uh, you can catch up later. You know, you can you can tell him where to meet you somewhere later if you wanted. Yeah, um, but I'm saying after after this, we're going back to Red Larch probably. I don't know, maybe not, but yeah, I mean, it could happen. Depends on if you have anything to do there, but uh, yeah, you might be doing oh, a few I'm... towns here and there, and maybe maybe you don't. Uh, I don't know. It's whatever you want to do with him. He, he he's one of those people that you kind of get the idea that if you left him to his own devices, he's probably gonna go turn into an entrepreneur of some sort you know he seems like an entrepreneur mm -hmm. type of person what do you I mean know. like I mean... highway man <laughs> you know an entrepreneur it's whatever you want to call it but you know it's an entrepreneur mm. <laughs> i'm not i'm not trying to get rid of him by any means like yeah. everyone Debatra, I want to say thank you very much for that uh, that Debatra. generosity right now 67.42 septums just come wow. floating in very much appreciated. Um, right. I, I mean, then then we can hook up with them after this again. I just feel bad, you know, always leaving too. him behind for yeah. any town stuff. Although he's damn handy when we go down to dungeons and things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know what would be very interesting? Uh, well, you probably have already considered this, but there are such th certain things you can get, like sending stones and whatever. Um, that If you was to purchase one of those in and around, well, places that you can well, well, purchase them. You can give Tao him one and then anyway? call him in. <clears throat> Can't Tao do that anyway? I don't know. Does Tao do that stuff? Do what? Can you make You've like had psychic stuff? links before? Yeah, but it's pretty short range. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They would have like a. Nobody has like a disguise spell or something. Hmm. Well, that would be handy. No. <laughs> Although you that are still be... going in, it, it is to be quite considered that you guys are in the barge right uh, territory. Barge right is extensively owned and operated by the Zenturum, which they're spies. They're really good right. at uh, figuring out things. Yeah, I don't know if that, that... I don't know if the point of it is actually to, like, hide them from, like, the powers that be. If I think the point is to avoid, like, random trouble. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Like, if, if, we, if we could disguise... If we could disguise him as, like, a large human... Make it make him look more like Eric's brother than Eric's brother actually looks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Just wander, just wander in there like that. Like, yeah, sure. Some Zentarum people might question us. They're like, "Why are you bringing this guy in?" Like, mm -hmm. well, we disguised him because we wanted to bring a half over. Yeah. yeah. Because the, the fact of the matter is, no matter what, we are a big group, a big diverse group. Mm -hmm. We are going to get yes. attention coming in here. Yeah. We've got, yeah. we've got, you know, half elves. Two of us. There's a, a dwarf. There's, I, I mean, there's a group of people. He, it, yeah, he could just be part of the pack, you know. I mean, of, unless we wanted to to come in in two groups or something, or do something like that. I mean, but he says he doesn't want to come into town anyway, so yeah, that's yeah. fine. So we won't. Yeah. No, it would be uncomfortable for him. If, if it, yeah, if if he's not in favor of going through that, mm -hmm. okay. Put him through it necessarily. Okay. Well, we'll we'll acclimatize him at Red Larch when we're home. Oh, well, there you go. You know that, that smaller yeah. city. Yeah, you, you know, know everyone right, there is maybe. different. We'll yeah, put, put him in the kitchen making pies. Yeah. Yes, and he'll become everybody's favorite, yeah. and it'll be yeah. awesome. And yeah. when he goes on his own adventures, you know he'll come <clears> back because you know sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> there you go. All right. So still have my old farm. <laughs> yeah. And property anyway. Oh, there's that. What's too. that? Still have my old farm, the property. Yes, anyway. you've got a farm. I live on a farm. That's further. Yeah. We have though, a big right? farm with several houses and things. We've got the whole family's got you know prop like places out there. Yeah, sure so that's somewhere you can live for outside of town, but still yeah. not be just you know left in the wilderness. Yes, mm. I'll take him home. My family won't mind at all. <clears throat> well, hmm. yeah, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, who knows? They'll be fine. Mm. They'll have to. <laughs> Oh, and as Orna as Orna goes, Orna is uh, is parting ways with you if you guys allow her to. She is uh, she's coming into town here, Thank you. and uh, she doesn't really want much else to do with anything in terms of adventures and everything. She feels like she's she's rather done. She's got, in fact, she even tells you outright that that now since her whole vengeance that she had is done, she doesn't really know what she's going to do next. She's going to probably 
sign on to a mercenary band or whatever, make some money. Um, well, well, and with all the former prisoners and stuff like that too, um, this might not be a terrible place to part ways with them um, because I'm sure there's lots of caravans that come through here. This yeah. is a this is a major hub. Yes. Lots of yes. trading. That's why this yeah. was set up in the first place. So there's people going in every single direction from here. So if mm-hmm. we give them like a couple of gold coins each, which is yes. going to be more than enough to cover passage um, on these various wagons, yeah. then, you know, they can go. They can go to Waterdeep. They can go to wherever they want. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, this just is a bit getting crossword. them here, they are basically rescued, like, by definition now. Yeah, yes. yes. That yeah. rescued. We just don't want to make sure they, you know, are res- have yeah, to resort yeah. to begging here. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you like guys it. take care of them in that in that fashion. I like um, it. Just outside of what you can see here, just outside the the reaches of the border um, of the visual map here, um, that is where the river is. That's where the bridge system is. Um, and yes, a lot of things do come this way into um, Waterdeep in terms of. Uh, different types of trade material will come in here, as well as uh, those you know, wayfarers who seek refuge for for the evening, um, or for weeks in if they're merchants and they just like set up shop outside. Right here, number four, you'll see number four, the area number four. Um, that area yeah. is is pretty much where they set up like quick shops and everything. <coughs> like merchants come up, they set up a yeah. shop and they tear it down and they set it up yeah. and they tear it down. Yeah. You know. Okay. Um, they do have to get, you know, of course, rights and everything to do that. You have to get a permit. You have to pay for that, mind you. And mm-hmm. if you guys are interested in that at all, you can also do that. Obviously, all this stuff is, is, is available to you if you wanted to pursue that sort of thing. Um, and then where you see number three, number three is the gate. Uh, that's the main gate. There's a big, big, big giant wall. I say giant wall. This is rather large. In fact, I have a, um, if you want to look at the stream, I'll have a, um, a picture of what it looks like. Um, yeah, are these margin. stone walls? It kind of looks like stone on the map. Yeah, and it's stone wow. walls, and it goes up a. Um, it's like like it's tier. It looks like it's on a hill. Side. It yeah. looks Ooh. like there's a big like a plateau with the town on top and a wall, and then it looks like it's gone downhill from there. That is a really um, cool there's picture. There's an outer wall with yeah. all the paddocks and stuff in it, and oh my goodness, yeah, like that's beautiful. Okay, so that's that's basically what you're looking at uh, in terms of. And there's more buildings, obviously, oh, in and around, but what's squeezed in there huge. are buildings of import, right? Um, different places that you can go. Oh, that's beautiful. My goodness, look at that. Yeah. It's got the two towers. In the, that, is that actually supposed to be art of the Barge Right Inn? Uh, yes. It looks in like fact, it should be. That's beautiful. Yeah, and in fact, the two towers in the, in the, in the back um, section there, that does belong to the Barge Right Inn um, specific. That is the proper um, oh, upper levels and everything, so nice. the spires and such. Um, but yeah, this so, this thing's been around for like centuries at this point. Yes, it's in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And in fact, it has changed hands. This this area um, historically has changed hands a few times. It didn't always belong to the Zenturum, but the Zenturum have uh, well just regard it as complete control of this area right now. Mm-hmm. So there's that. That um, is lovely. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I'm kidding. Boop. No. So what do you guys want to do? It is mid-afternoon. Okay. You don't have to worry about Like I mentioned, the gates are still open. You can pass back and forth. There's there's guards there, obviously, but nobody... There's not like a um, processing, you know, thing. You don't have to stand in line. You just kind of wander in and out. Um, but towards the end, as, as Tao will tell you, um, if you haven't been here before, I don't know if you have been here specifically. I, I have not been here before. No, eh? Okay. Um, then Tao won't tell you, but... We'll you kind of get the idea that, you know, come evening, as with most areas, they do shut the main gates, right? So. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we, we're bringing this group of people in. How many did we have if we're giving them gold, which I mm-hmm. love? I think that's very nice. You wouldn't have to give them much. Here's the thing. You guys are laden with, with riches at I this know. point in regards to what they would ever have, so... You gave them like yeah, two one, gold piece. Or one gold. Oh, that's, that's what I was yeah. suggesting. So there's what, two, a dozen of them? Two gold is lots. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. There's a, what, a dozen of them? Yes. Yeah, there was, I think I said 12 before. I'm pretty sure there's 12. I could probably yeah, okay. pretty sure. research my notes, but I think it's 12. Pretty sure. At some point you gave us a range, but I think we just all assumed it was 12. Yeah. Okay. So we'll if that. we give them a, cu- uh, a couple of gold each, it's enough for people to get passage to wherever. Wherever. I mean, they could probably go to the other end of the world at that point. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. I'll, I'll take care of them. Okay. Okay. Thank you much. 
Wow. Very nice. Well, I had that advanced for this thing we're doing now. Oh, yeah, you had a bit. Yeah, yeah, you had the big chunk. Okay. I suppose there's good, that. Good. Yeah. I was just thinking in terms Thank of, you. Uh, you know, Tao treats the world good with pies and now gold. Just don't put gold in the pie. Yeah, be a little crunchy. Yeah. Christmas pudding. <laughs> So you guys do have uh, control over your characters. You can move your characters in and around, uh, <coughs> put them in places where you want to, like, you know, have more knowledge. I can impart to you about what's going on there. Or if you want, you can just head straight to the uh, barge right in and get business underway. Mm -hmm. Oh well, mm. we could we could have a, a bit of a wander through the market, look around a little bit on the way. But we we are here for something. Can anybody remember what exactly? Well, Tao, Tao knows the details. I'm not <laughs> sure we have that many details. There's some accounting stuff yeah. or something. We yeah. also have a lot of... Uh, we, we also have a bunch of random crud to liquidate. That's what I was just looking at. Yeah. Um, this market here, is there anyone selling, um, you know, like, knickknacks, home decor, antiques? Yeah, they got knickknacks and Fine paywax. things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, if if you need um someone to, to barter with, you'll you'll find it here. Um Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So we can sell off some of this stuff yeah. we've been yeah. hauling around. Might we be have worth some doing. Gems. I don't know if the act I don't know if the gems actually need to be liquidated. The biggest ones were fifty gold, so they're not like ridiculous gems. Right. But yeah. there's also there's a a silk robe worth eighty gold, a lyre worth two hundred fifty, a tapestry worth maybe four hundred. Wow, you guys are rich. Yeah. And no. uh, healers kits, I can buy lots here. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's a good um, plan. If you guys excuse me, I'm going shopping. <laughs> yeah. If you want, um, you guys can you could divvy up you know different materials for yourself and um, sell separately. You could sell it all together and then divvy up the money. Uh, you can have one main person do the selling. It may take a lot longer, mind you. If you have one person just selling off the stuff, it's going to take you well into uh, the next day. Uh, but if you guys split it up and do it yourselves, then you know there's going to be variance to um, the amounts yep. of money that you can acquire uh, because based on charisma, or basically we're going to be rolling for it. So, oh. well, I have advantage on persuasion checks when I'm running yes. my mantle of joy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... there you go. I, I mean, you know, if I time. use my Jedi mind powers, we might be able yeah. to get a better deal. This is the carpet okay. that you're looking for. It totally brings the room together. Okay. Well, I literally <laughs> do have is, a carpet to sell. Eric is technically a merchant <laughs> and does have some charisma, but he can't compete That's with true. that. So yeah. <laughs> you, you'll, yeah. you'll definitely get better prices. Okay. All right. So you guys are going to give the, 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 the most expensive stuff probably to Tao would be the greatest. Well, the three things I see on the list that we might sell here... Mm -hmm. Um, is the we have got a rolled up tapestry it's elvish with a white flying dragon on it you said it was worth 400 gold we've got a carved lyre or lyre how do you say it the musical I instrument I think you just call I it a lyre. lyre but I'm not lyre? sure I say lyre yeah. okay. uh, worth 250 gold uh, an embroidered silk robe uh, worth 80 so we could sell those things mm -hmm. yep so it would be 730 gold if we get the price as is. Yep. Uh, the to get the price, price. Yeah, the estimated price being uh, being that. Um, so, yeah, roll for it. If you get a 20, you'll get exactly that plus more. If you get a 15, you're going to get 25% of that. Or less than that, then we'll figure it out from there. But usually it's going to be, you know, then 50%, then, you know, 25%, which is going to really suck. Okay. So don't screw it up. So <laughs> persuasion with advantage. Yep. Do, do, do. That's a 24. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, then, uh, so you get, um, well, I need a calculator. Jesus. Or you have a calculator there? Anybody got a calculator uh, open? Yeah, I've got Google open. Just give it 25, whatever. Okay, so the the maximum price, you get that plus 25%. Uh -huh. You're a smooth uh -huh. talker. So 912 gold and five silvers. That is So ridiculous. if we di divide that in three, we get 304 gold, one silver, Six copper each. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it, the thing That's is, big money. you guys almost died for a lot of that. So, you know, it's, it's kind of worth yeah. it. And there's going to be places here that you can, you can purchase more things. Uh, you can better yourself. You can better your lives in this area. You know, you can get the, the most enjoyable meal here as well. 
Yes. Nice rooms. We could be comfortable tonight. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. for a couple of days, for a few days, whatever. Yeah, these merchants probably so, they mm-hmm. I think they got uh, they got took to a, to the to the cleaners on that one because, you know, I don't I don't think they're going to be able to resell uh, this stuff for a profit as my, as high as they would they would like. So what did we get? Now you just ruined the lives of several merchants now. What's that? Sorry. What did, you think? What did you, we get for these things? You got 304 gold, one silver, six coppers. Mm-hmm. 304 gold. Oh my god. So it's like, ooh. Damn. Now, yeah, I mean, I we've see. got some other things we could theoretically sell. Mm-hmm. May as well. I mean, if it's just junk, technically just junk, weighing you down, might be a better well, idea to convert it. It's not literally junk, but like, you know, I've got the circuit of blasting that I don't really need. Mm-hmm. That's magical. That's worth like. Yeah, that's the problem. And totally. and in fifth dad, magic items aren't really priced. Mm. I think they might have tiers to give you a bit of an idea. But yeah, they, they have just like a rarity level. They're like uncommon, rare, very rare. Mm-hmm. What was it called, sir? The circlet of blasting. Circlet of blasting. Okay. Yeah, I can uh, take a look at that in a moment. Like I've been, I was using it, but that was actually mostly. Um, before the last level up and change to my character. At this point, I'm better off using my cantrips. I do, as far as I know, <laughs> about the same amount of damage now as the Circle of yeah. Blasting. So. I mean, Eric could sell us Flying Broom and probably buy the entire barge right in, but I think we should probably keep that one. Yeah, then where do you get Flying Broom? Oh. Okay, it's also good just... for eating. The healing kits are, are 50... Mm. Imagine how powerful the flying something. room might be just for like sweeping up. <clears throat> oh, that's if it can converse that thrust into just like <laughs> one 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 stroke <laughs> sweeps the entire room, all Five the furniture is like up against the wall. Okay. Okay, so apparently the um oh. where is it? Do, 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 do. Circulated blasting is uncommon. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, uncommon, which is the magic item version. <sighs> Common. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, it's up there with but, potions. I don't think the they. It, it's, it's like Starbucks. I don't think they have a small. <laughs> uh, they do have a. They do have a common rarity, but it's probably for crap. So uncommon items are apparently worth somewhere between one hundred and five hundred gold. Okay. That's as precise as they get. They don't have individual <laughs> yeah. prices because they don't want characters to go shopping for magic items. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I was just noticing that too. I was reading up on it. Um, so I, what I would do um, is the range will be inside of there. So 100 to 500. So it'll be if you roll a uh, if you roll less than five, you'll basically just get 100 gold for it. If you roll 10, you'll get you know like 250 maybe. And I'll just say 15 and at 20 and above, you'll get the full price. 23. Well, there you go. So you get you get the full uh, five hundred for that. Sweetness and light. Oh my goodness! This guy's gonna be rolling in bank, man, because they have smooth talker, uh, brainiac, over here. <laughs> yeah. But there, there's less to do with the money in here. Yeah, there is that. There, there's there are certain things that you can buy, but there's not a lot of um, specific special special stuff you can buy. I'm gonna get a new oven for my pie shop. One that's gear sized. A gyra sized pie oven. Something something you can put oh, his big fat like fingers it. in. <gasps> you imagine Gira making like towel pies? I think so. I don't we don't can put it to work. For, I don't know if there's that much market for Gira pie. <laughs> I don't know. It might work out, who knows? He has a signature thumb print like on the top of every pie. Mm. Yeah, oh, the, the pie's just completely concave. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like putting it in the uh, the blue. That's just how he puts it in the oven there. All right. Um, oh my god. Right. Okay. So, anything else you guys want to get rid of? Um, I technically owe five hundred gold. Even though there there was a guy in the other town who uh, who was making me full plate, which I just finished like ages ago. All right. Technically, I have that orc full plate now, mm-hmm. but that's gonna like be like properly sized for me and not like from an orc. And also, like, I gave him a small, like, he did offer to do it for free, which I thought was ridiculous. I gave him, like, a down payment, but I still owe him the rest of what I was going to pay him, which is still way below market cost. Okay. I'm done. So I don't have as much money after the 500 gold to go spending on stuff. 
Okay. Okay. Still, though, I mean, um, in terms of other shops and such that you can get in here, see, these are just the merchants outside. Um, yeah. The more established venues inside, there's going to be the blacksmith. Um, you can find um, wares there if anybody wants to go and pick up stuff. Obviously, it's not going to be specifically magical stuff, but you can definitely get upgrades and types of armor. Um, that sort of thing will, will, will be available here. What I was going to say is, is there any chance... Like that, one of these merchants, you know, one or two of these merchants might have a magical trinket of some kind. Um, you know, well, you can yeah. roll an investigation check, and uh, if you roll good enough, I will, uh, I will. I will. I was gonna say you could just roll in the magic item table to see what someone might randomly have for sale. Well, we'll roll. roll oh yeah, investigation then we'll see if we and, want uh, it. We'll see what we roll, and I'll roll. You roll, I roll. Okay. Twenty-five. Ooh. Good me. Oh my God. Help We're crushing this. Wow. My 15 was solid. Yeah, it was, actually. It was. 15 like, was solid. I found, a, until... I found a guy who's selling a potion, and we're like, we're selling, we're finding a guy selling Vorpal swords. Yeah. Like, I found some fails. <laughs> All right. Those are really good rolls, though. Um, 25, that's over the 20. I'll, um, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll roll twice. Um, you can find magical need... blacksmith tools. They no. have, like, Vorpal spells. Because you're going to be buying these, uh, oh. they will be like you will have they will have a price tag. So I was going to say, I, yeah, I yeah, a, and I this should be necklace. like a pop. We we can't okay, necessarily ahead. afford them. Uh, you need a necklace of orc bow taming. <laughs> a necklace of orc bow taming, yeah. <laughs> Storm bow taming. Yeah. Uh, let's Is see. it one in that list somewhere? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the uh, the actual table I should be rolling on. So we we got the the money that I already added, and then you sold something for five hundred gold. Is that a split too, or is that just something that you were doing off on the side? When I say five hundred gold, that's like what I got from the split. I'm saying I can't use that because I owe it to okay. a guy in that town we were passing through. Are you asking about when I sold my circlet of blasting? Yeah, there was oh. something. I was mm. just yeah, I was looking up prices for the right. healing kit and stuff like that. So I missed some things, but yeah, yeah, was that? Something you sold on your own quietly somewhere? Well, I'm not hiding it or anything like that. Okay, no, no. We could split it, I suppose. It's okay, fine. No, I was, I just had missed. That's all I think. Do oh. I add it or not add it? That was the only part. That's yeah, I just wrote it on my sheet just because okay. it was an item I was using, but I, yeah, whatever. whatever. All right. So well, we were dividing up treasure, you got it, so I don't know. No, that's all right. I don't think 500 gold is like a big enough deal for us to really be concerned about. Even though I wasn't concerned, I was wondering if I should put it no, in the I, inventory I or not. That's all. I'm just furthering the point okay. that he doesn't have to split it to be a civil human being. <laughs> yeah, this was the. Um, this is part of the same thing. We got the filter of love, the, the flying right. broom. Oh, was this? This was the Christmas encounter. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. You can keep that money. Whatever. And you got a plus one boost to your weapon. What did you boost? One of your hand axes? Yes. Yeah, it okay. had to be something that didn't have a magical bonus yet. Right, right, right. See, so, there, there's, there's, there, okay. These loot tables for random rolling and everything, they go quite crazy, don't they? Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't mean we can afford it. It doesn't mean we have to have the thing. Yeah, I know. It's just, um, it's just crazy. Like, I'm, I, I rolled for, um, the first one I rolled for, um, well, the only one I've rolled full so far, I should say, um, was going to be, uh, where is it there? I'll find it again. Ocean of Tech Potion. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a Staff of the Adder, and I, uh... Oh, snake stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could probably look it up, Staff of the Adder. But anyway, that's, that's what that is. Um, the second one is going to be, oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay, well, that's weird. Let's see what that gets you. Staff of the Adder is uncommon. Uh, it requires a tutant by a cleric, druid, or warlock. Oh, well, we do have a warlock. I say none of us are going to be able to use this. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, the uh, the second one was a tome of leadership and influence. Um, that that has yeah. to be more expensive than anything we could afford in the next five levels. <laughs> yeah. No, that that's a guy that we're gonna we're gonna kill him at night and and steal. <laughs> steal <the shit. laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is this is a tome. You you read it, and it gives you plus two to your charisma score like, permanently. It's a it's a ninety nine on the loot table, and I rolled a ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, I rolled a nine. And I oh rolled a nine. my goodness! <laughs> so it's a tome goodness. of leadership and influence. Yeah. 
It's still like it, those things should be ten times as rare as even it says because like how many of them are made and not used? Right. Well, apparently they regained their ability in a century. This is a new oh, version. Okay. Dead. All right. I like that they added some kind of logic for why these things exist. As yeah. yeah. So this thing is worth five thousand to fifty thousand gold pieces, and there's no way this one's not worth the full fifty thousand. Yeah. Oh my god! You could try but to talk it, him down, but you know. Plus two charisma. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure if, it, if this sure guy if actually says cash, he's got this book, I'm sure if you're dealing in cash, you'd easily go down to forty-seven. <laughs> yeah. no. You guys would have to pull all of your money together to get this at the moment, and still not have enough. So yeah, we'd have to pull all the town's money together. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. He's maybe... Probably not. Probably not consensually. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> probably start robbing a scammer because there's no way. Unless he doesn't know what he's got. Ooh. I'm going to make a note of this guy's face. Mm -hmm. And name. And, and name. And, and thing. Yeah. All right. Well, um, okay. So I'm going to look him up again in the future. Let me write and down. Possibly a book. All right. This guy. I'm going to make a note here. Um, possible huge success. So, Tome of Understanding is what I'm going to call it. Just shorter. All right. Tome the, of Understanding um, is a different item. Tome of, no, it's called a Tome of, oh, sorry, Leadership and Influence. The Tome yeah. of Understanding is uh -huh. what I, what you would have got if I'd have rolled a 100. So, yeah. tome, tome of Leadership. That would have been the Wisdom one instead of the Charisma one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me just call it tome, tome, tome of Leadership. All right, so this this is, uh, who's this? Let me get this guy a name. Um, Dalamur. D-A-L-A-M-U-R. Um, Gregor. Um, he's a, uh, he's a, a half dwarf, half elf. <laughs> wow. You don't see that very often. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. I'm trying to picture. Hmm. Right. So Delamore like Gregor. Breeding any dog to a corgi, you know, everything looks like it looks like an elf, but his legs are short. I don't know. Look, <laughs> look, you, may, you 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 think maybe um, <laughs> the tome of leadership and influence was uh, probably used for getting the relationship, maybe well, <laughs> for the dwarf and the elf to actually. This is what my dad happen. used. To yeah, yeah. yeah, this is an okay. heirloom from my dad. He passed it on down to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. now I totally believe that this is a real thing. <laughs> He's a twelve. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Demon Act, just on the off chance that you want the Staff of the Adder, it yeah. just, um, you can whack someone with the stick. So it's bonus action, activates the sticks to be like, have a snake head. Mm. If you whack someone with it, um, they take a d6 damage and have to make a poison saving throw. Ooh. That's it. Or poison saving throw... DC 15 or take 3d6. Okay. I don't think we're spending a whole bunch of money on that. You know what? I mean, it wouldn't be the most expensive thing. It'd be in that 1 to 500 gold piece range, but yeah. meh. And if, it's a, if it's a bonus action, I guess it's not bad, but like, eh. I mean, you still have to use an attack, but it's a bonus action to activate. Oh, okay. I see. That's really weird. Yeah. You know what's interesting about this? Other than the fact he, he's this this dwarf, because I'm just curious, I just made my whole, I piqued my own curiosity. This dwarf, this dwarf, <laughs> this dwarf. Um, he is of human height, right? So he's not as tall as, as some elves, and he's not as short as some dwarves. But he is uh, he is of normal human height. He's very broad, right <laughs> around the chest and everything. He's he's got that whole dwarf thing going for him. Um, he has no beard and he has pointy ears. Mm. Mm. Right? Oh, cool. So he's very interesting looking. To which I'm going to say he has he has uh, uh, in, down down one row of pointy his pointy ears he has really adorned himself with uh, mini earrings. Of course, yeah. cool. Um, and he has a cadre of elite bodyguards so that people don't just like beat him up and take his ridiculous item. <laughs> yeah, you know it looks like you no. Know, he's he's probably one. I'm going to make him one of the richer uh, people here. He's he's certainly uh, he's, he's really, it makes he's, sense. <laughs> he's a rich guy. Um, Human height. So yeah, he build. must have bodyguards. Yeah. yeah. No beard. Broad shoulders and a narrow waist. That kind of describes the elves in World of Warcraft. Except yeah. shorter. <laughs> uh, 
I, I, I did misinterpret the staff a little bit. The yeah, bonus action yeah. to activate it, it's active for a minute, and you can just keep whacking people. As It doesn't stop after one hit. Okay. The full minute, you're doing, like, all, when, potentially up to 46 per hit. How is this thing a staff of Moses? 1d6 and then save for another 3d6. Yeah. And no daily limit or anything either. No daily limit at all is interesting. I, I don't think it's really going to work out. but Yeah, and it, it's not really Eric's style, but I have to admit, that's actually like that's a cool be. magic item. All it is sudden. kind of interesting. If you were a non-melee warlock, that would actually probably be cool. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kyoko makes a good point. If he doesn't have bodyguards, run. <laughs> You're right. He's <laughs> like a level 15. Yeah. yeah. He's a legendary level, you know. He, is, he has a, he has a uh, dragon escort. As I said, we just look at him, and, like, it just got Skull for his level. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, right next to his name. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just hovering above his head for inexplicable reasons. All right. Oh, um, something else I should be mentioning, too, because you guys do have a, a, a bit of gold, um, is that the yeah. paddocks, if you'll notice up the, where there's the, where you see twos written around yes. the yep. outside there, in and around these twos, right. there's, um, obviously, some of these areas have, have owned um, horses and such. But in and around where the, the six and in and around the back of the six, you can probably purchase uh, new horses and uh, such creatures. That would be good. Beasts of burden, anyway. Um, or friends, if you want to call them friends. But yeah, you can get some yes. there. So. Yeah, we'll be buying horses. I have a perfectly we... nice horse at home. Yep. <clears throat> but... Yeah, but more horses is always more better, more right? More horses are more better. <laughs> Here's something that you might Absolutely. not have considered. Um <laughs> And maybe you'll want to consider it in the future. Um, there, w it was it was mentioned earlier before you guys actually got into the stone monastery when you when you first met Gira mm -hmm. and his little uh, goblin friend who was sadly no more. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Okay. Um, he uh, was mentioning. Are you you saw in fact? I think um, saddles. Did you guys notice notice those saddles? The saddles. Okay. Um, we don't, we don't the remember. Griffin saddles. Yeah. Or whatever? So you know uh, somewhere. Somewhere where they had been, there's griffin saddles, and where there's griffin saddles, maybe there's griffins that you can buy as well. Oh. You go mm -hmm. but, yeah, and we know where that is. We got described as like some sort of tower of these yeah. knights or something. Exactly. I'm who yes, excited. Yeah. There's certainly let's a go tower get one of those. Available for that Could that be our next our next adventure? <laughs> I don't know. Could be a thing. All right. Oh my goodness. So, um, uh, any more Gryffindor. shopping you guys want to do? Or do we get to the main meat and potatoes? Oh, we can do it both ways. We can do some of the meat and potatoes um, of why you're here. Tal has a reason that she's here specifically. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, whether or not she's disclosed all that to the group, I don't know. Um, yeah, I've disclosed as much as I know, which is that there's... Not a lot, yeah. Some sort of, like, inconsistencies. Like, do I think someone's, like, embezzling money or, or something like that? Yes. It's been a while, but it was, like, it was... It felt, like, very, like... Accountant like accounting white collar crime kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, like somewhere there, there's um, something going wrong, and and they feel that uh, in terms of money, it's economically um, something's going wrong, and uh, yeah. they feel that they need possibly the the aid of someone as skilled such as yourself to uh, the widow. Yeah, to you know, you are best known. <laughs> For problem solving, yes, you're pretty good for problem solving, but you're best known um, for your ability to, to, to get rid of certain, you know, problems. Yeah. Got it. So, so find um, guy with one collar, whack him. Okay. Could be a thing. <laughs> could be a thing. Maybe not. You know, it, it, who, they don't know what's wrong. They just know that something is wrong. So they're kind of just, they've uh, enlist, el el elicited your help there to hopefully get, you know, get it done quickly. Yeah, so I would definitely communicate all that. What I and I would include in the communication the knowledge that there are Zentrum involved in this area. I would neglect to mention that I'm, you know, was recruited by a Zentrum agent to investigate this. Right. Um, now the other question is how how are we coming in here again? We're a big crowd. We're not gonna, you know, not be noticed. Um, do I literally come alongside with you guys at the same time? Do I show up separately? Do I show up? Am I, I don't think showing up in my Tau guys works. I think that, I just show up as the widow. That's not very helpful. Yeah, yeah, probably not. I mean, unless I just want to be low key and like. I mean, if you came in in your Tau guys, and then when because the first thing we do is distribute these like people we rescued. We the, most of the crowd is people that we rescued who were just like 
okay, we got you safely to town. Here's your like voucher for like two gold and like you're yeah. free sort of thing. You could just wander off with like you know the rest of the garbage. Mm. Sorry, I just veered into Star Wars there. <laughs> <laughs> just drift away with the rest of the trash, right? <laughs> If you want to find out what it's like when I'm the Dungeon Master, check out Tales from my D&D campaign.